Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I like bringing deals to you guys like the way I spoke about SoFi early on, the way I spoke about UXIN early on, and now I have another one for you guys that I spoke about a while back, and I haven't really done any updates on them. They've been down a lot. And just like SoFi Technologies, this company came into the stock market through a SPAC that is owned by Chamar Palihapatiya. And I remember once uh, back in the past when I spoke about them, some of the negative Nancy's came out and said, oh, Chamar Palihapatiya, all his companies are doing bad. Oh, they gave every reason as to why you should not buy stocks in this company. And, you know, as usual, I told them to pull their pants up, shut their mouth, be a man for once in your life. Well, this company holds true to the same philosophy. They need to pull their pants up. This company has been down a lot because of high interest rates, because the housing market uh, has been beaten down in America badly where almost no one is buying and selling homes and the housing market we all know moves the economy so as interest rates starts coming down uh and i expect the feds to cut another quarter basis points in december and probably again in in march of next year or february um i expect this industry to start doing well again so i want you guys to keep your eyes on it it's uh, open door technologies uh, it came out, the ticker symbol is O-P-E-N, O-P-E-N. They came out with a strong set of quarterly numbers that could potentially lead to a re-rate of the stock, said analysts. Results overall were solid with revenue arriving 8.3% better than analysts forecast at $1.4 billion higher revenues also resulted in substantially lower statutory losses, which at 11 cent per share were 8.3 percent smaller than the analysts expected earnings are an important time for investors as they can track a company's performance look at what the analysts are forecasting for the next year uh, and see if there's been a change in sentiment towards the company and a change indeed there is so readers will be glad to know we've aggregated the latest statutory forecast to see whether the analysts have changed their mind on open door technologies after the latest result. After the latest results, the 12 analysts covering open door technology is now predicting revenues of 6.97 billion in uh, 2025. If met, this would reflect a sizable 41% improvement uh, in revenue compared to the last 12 months. The loss per share is expected to amortize slightly, reducing to US 50 cent. Yet prior to the latest earnings, the analysts have been forecasting revenues of US 7.34 billion and losses of US 54 cent per share in 2025. So that outlook is changing, and a lot of it is pro a, a lot of it is due to the interest rates uh, being lowered by the Feds. It looks like there's been a modest increase in sentiment in the recent updates with the analysts becoming a bit more optimistic, says the writer. In their predictions for losses per share, even though the revenue numbers fell somewhat. Now, this, this stock is less than $2 a share. Of course, I'm not telling you to take a look at it just because of the share price, but because I like it, they use technology just like Neo, just like SoFi. Um, and they're stealing, they're going to steal huge market share, in my opinion, in the real estate market with this company. Normally in America, it takes 30 days. And I still believe it's that way when I was a realtor. It took 30, day, 30 days from the time you made an offer to the time you get to the closing table when you use a regular realtor. With this company, everything is done in five days. Yes, you heard that right. So there was no major change to the US 196 average price target suggesting that the adjustments to revenue and earnings are not expected to have a long-term impact um, on the business. There's another way to think about price targets though, and that's to look at the range of price targets put forward by analysts because a wide range of estimates could suggest a diverse view on possible outcomes of the business. 
The most optimistic open door technologies analyst has a price target of $3.25 per share, while the more, most pessimistic value is at a dollar. We would probably assign less value to the analyst forecast in this situation because such a wide range of estimates could imply that the future of this business is difficult to value accurately, they said. As a result, it might not be a great idea to make decisions based on the consensus price target, which is after all just an average of the wide range of estimates. It says, I'll get to the bottom line. The most important thing to take away is that the analysts reconfirm their loss per shares estimate for next year, which will decrease. They also downgraded open door, some of them, uh, revenue estimates, but industry data suggests that it is expected to grow faster than the wider industry. Even so, long-term profitability is more important for the value creation process, which is true. The consensus price target held steady at $1.96, while the latest estimate not enough to have an impact on the price target on the price targets. With that in mind, uh, we wouldn't be come to a, we wouldn't be too quick to come to a conclusion on open door technologies. Long-term earnings power is much more important than next year's profits. And I believe in this company long-term, that's why I haven't sold them. I've, I've actually been averaging down little by little. It says we have forecast for open door technologies going to 2026 and you can subscribe to see it. Now I get this article from uh, SoFi Technologies from the platform itself, which I use for buying and selling stocks. And um, I'll put the link for any of you guys who don't use them. I highly recommend you take a look at it uh, because it's more than just a platform for buying stocks. I use them for credit cards, I use them for banking, but they do give a lot of information um, that, will, that you can find to be very helpful in making decisions not only in investing, but in banking, credit cards, etc., etc. Even when it comes to politics, sometimes you get some um, different sort of views on there. So, like I said, I believe in this company in the long term, and that's why I never sold them, even when they tank to like a dollar forty something at one point. So, I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational on a Thursday morning. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up because it takes a lot of time to do these videos and the editing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like 50 said we get rich or we die trying, guys.